hallowed be thy name. My Lord, Krishna, the personality of God. Let your holy name be glorified. This is our moment. It is not a sectarian, it is a very scientific moment. Scientific moment because at the present moment we are all godless, forgotten what is God and what to speak of His name. They do not believe in God and what to speak of His name, fame, His place, His activities, His form, His quality. How we can know? There is no educational system uh, about the science of God. This movement, Krishna Consciousness movement, is teaching the science of God. And if you accept the name of the God, name of God, Krishna, this is also a fun in other uh, system also, uh, uh, then uh, you will be able to associate with God immediately. <coughs> because God is absolute. Absolute means there is no difference. Ah. Just like in the relative world, this is relative world. Material world means relative world. Relative world means the son. As soon as I say the son, there must be a father. Ah. I, as soon as I say a friend, there must be another man, friend. As soon as I say water, there must be something as water. <coughs> but in the absolute world, the name water and the water is the same. Uh, this is called absolute. Uh, no different separation. So in the kingdom of God, the God is God and His Son is also God. There, the uh, everything, there is no difference between the name and the substance. Here in this material world, the name and the substance different. Just like if I am thirsty, I want water. So the water must come to me. If I simply chant water, 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 that will not be a bit. Because it is relative world. But in the transcendental world, world, Krishna is uh, the name of God and it is God also. Uh, so by chanting Hare Krishna, you are directly in contact with God. This is the meaning of Hare Krishna. It's got this experience. Therefore, I am the enjoyer, Purusha, I am changing simply body. This word that. This is my position. So one who is intelligent, that I change body and different bodies, I am eternal. So what is my eternal business? This is Atata Brahma Jigdasa. This is called inquiry of the spiritual life. Uh, this is a very simple thing. When I am simply changing body, uh, then what is my real position? Uh, this is internal. When a man comes to this position, or this platform, to inquire actually what I am, uh, that is beginning of human life. Otherwise it is animal life. The animal also thinks, I am dog, I am tiger, I am pig. Or similarly, if I think, I am Mr. such and such, I am president, I am this, I am that. You are none of these, sir. These are all designations. 
for the temporary, for a certain period, ten years, five years, fifty years, at most hundred years, then finish. But you are eternal. So here it is said, Purusha, I am. Purusha, I am enjoying. So Purusha Prakriti is so, so long he is in this material world. He bhunte. Bhunte means enjoys. Not enjoyment, we think we are enjoying, but we are suffering, actually. And because we cannot understand uh, what is suffering, suffering there is, uh, sometimes we come to understand, but we are accepting this suffering as enjoy. Uh, a man is working very hard, uh, very hard, whole day, uh, he is the, this is not enjoyment. Uh, you have got a car, but you are running at seventy mile speed, going to your uh, business, and there you are earning hundreds and thousands of dollars. So you are thinking that you are enjoying, but this labor is suffering, you forget. And in order to forget this suffering, then I take to wine, take to this, take to that, to forget this suffering. So actually we are suffering, but we are accepting it as enjoying. This is called illusion. Ah. So whatever we are doing in certain type of body in this material world, that is suffering. Ah. Ah. That is not enjoying. Because why you are placed, ah. because why you wanted to enjoy life like that. So purusha prakitastahi bhungte prakitijan guna. And this profit is nothing but a, a, a acceptance of the quality of material nature. And that is very practical, we can understand. It is like we are getting, I get, uh, say, $50,000 in a check. So I think that I have got $50,000. But what is this? It is fifty thousand dollars. It is a piece of paper. You see? This is called illusion. Uh, in this way, you study your life. You will see if you are sober, if you are actually thoughtful, you will find that this is not my life. Uh, this is not my life. But I am falsely thinking that I am enjoying life. Therefore, frustration. Next stage is frustration. Uh, everyone, we are frustrated uh, because we are in this material world. Uh, the Prahlad Maharaj says, uh, a great devotee, that his father asked me, my dear boy, what best thing you have learned? Uh, he said, my dear father, he did not say father. His father was first class materialist. Say he addressed him the best of the demons. Because anyone who is very much sensuous, very much attached to sense gratification, they are called demon. And those persons who do not indulge in sense gratification but utilize this body or this life or uh, God realization, Krishna realization, they are called gods. Uh, there are two classes of demon and God. Those who are engaged in God consciousness, they are not God but godly. And those who are not, because this human life is meant for this purpose, uh, forgetting our father, forgetting our God. God. We are a criminal within this material world. Therefore, our only business is how to get out of this prison house and go back to home, back to God. So this Krishna consciousness movement is trying to liberate these foolish persons who are entangled in this material world and changing one body after another, sometimes very happy, and sometimes very distressed. The quality is the same, 
a drop of Atlantic or Pacific Ocean and the ocean, if you test the drop, a small drop, it is salty, you can understand that the ocean is also salty. But the containing, the contents of salt, there is very small, and the contents of salt in the ocean, that is very big, that you cannot imagine. It is like that. God is like you and me, a person. But He is Pacific Ocean, we are dropped. Yes? Yes? Wait, wait a second, hold yes. on. What is your question, please, with this gentleman? Yes? Doctrine? He wants to know what the doctrine of Krishna consciousness is. Krishna consciousness means that you are part and parcel of Krishna or God, you being separated. Uh, I have already explained. You are suffering in this material world. So you back to your father, go back to your father and be happy. That's all. You're saying that God is spirit, we are spirit, and, and what what follows from there? So what is the question? Yeah. Some question? The question was, in Srimad Bhagavatam, which is a scripture that we study, it says that Krishna did not want us to come to this material world. The question is, if Krishna did not want us to come, why are we here? Yes, he forced Krishna to allow you to come. Just like sometimes a child forces the father. Father says, my dear son, do not do this, do not go. But he insists, well, I must go, I must. All right, you go at your risk. That's all. And you suffer? What can be done? Because you are God, because you are son of God, uh, God has got independence, full independence, almighty. Therefore, you have acquired the quality of your father. You have got little independence. The so God does not interfere with your little independence. If you persist that I must go and enjoy independently. So God says, all right, you can go. This is good. You have to take sanction. That is a fact. But when you persist, God sanctions. And you come and enjoy. Beginning from Lord Brahma down to the wands in the stool, gradually, according to your work, according to your desire, you manufacture your different types of body and enjoy and suffer. 